Yo, what's up guys? It's me, it's your boy Zeldon. And I want to introduce you guys to a really awesome app I've been using recently called Exit Lag. I've been using this recently mostly with Albion Online because the servers are located in North America. There's only one server for Albion Online uh, located in North America. And yeah, that means everybody outside of North America that plays Albion kind of gets screwed because, you know, our pings are crappy. But this is one thing that will at least improve it a bit. It's not going to make you, it's not going to give you like 20 ping or anything like that. So don't think anything crazy. It's just an improvement that'll make it a bit more bearable. The, I think the further away you are, that you are from America, the better results you'll get from exit lag. But first, let's talk about how you set it up. And you can decide for yourselves later if it uh, is something that helps improve your situation. Basically what it does is it improves your connection by giving you a more direct connection to the game servers. Like, you know, I'm not a huge uh, network genius or anything, but you know, basically when you're connecting to the internet, you aren't connecting directly to game servers all the time. You're going through hops. Like you might be, say you're in New York, for example, New York City and you're the game server is in California. You're not going directly from New York to California, Los Angeles, or wherever. You're going from New York probably to Virginia, then to Texas, then probably your, your connection's getting bounced all over the place. And basically, what this app does is kind of cuts out all of that crap and gets you a more direct connection to those game servers. It's very simple to use, and all you have to do is actually just go to the website here. I'll put the link in the description and probably into the comments as well but you go in here to exilog.com there's a tutorial in here too if you want to read through all this I'm not gonna read through all that it's pretty it's really really simple to set up so first of all you got to go register an account there is a free three-day trial for this and I will also have a 15% off discount code for that if you want to actually pay for it right away but I, I mean you never know if it's going to actually help your situation every network situation is different so that's why we have the three day free trial go ahead and try it out and see if it improves your situation but yeah go ahead and register for an account and then you'll get set in the email you definitely have to go and confirm your email and all that stuff before you can start using it so after you do that, then you go to the download, of course, download the program. I'm sure you guys all know how to down download and install a program. That's all pretty simple. And then once you get it installed, you get greeted with this very nice, pretty, aesthetically pleasing UI. So you go to your program here, and then you get your password and stuff typed in. And then you're greeted with this nice looking... UI here. So as you can see, I have already been using this with Albion, and I will just show you guys how exactly it works. So obviously there are other games that you can use this with, mostly MMOs and those type of games. There's a lot of uh, shooters in here as well. And what's also awesome is um, you can actually use it with your browsers. So like for example, this does sort of act as like a VPN. So for example, if you wanted to, I don't know, browse a certain website and make it look like you're browsing from a certain country, you could go to say Chrome browser, select the region, you can make it look like you're connecting from Canada, United States, Germany, Brazil, or Korea. Same with Firefox, Chromium, Opera, and Vivaldi. And then you can also use it with uh, several different game launchers for those reasons as well but anyway let's actually show you what happens in game with the app all right now we're in game as you can see here we are averaging about 115 120 ish ping right now this is without exit lag uh, being activated with about 28 to 30 milliseconds of jitter. Now let's turn on exit lag and watch the improvements. So I just click on the Albion here. 
quick apply routes. Usually it'll kick us out to the login screen, but sometimes it actually holds on to the connection in game. We'll see what happens this time. Looks like we're gonna have to re-log in, so I'm just gonna cut the video and start it back up when we're back logged in. All right, now we've got the exit lag activated. You can tell that it's activated by the red dot here. Red dot means that it is activated. You can also tell that by all the connections here. It tells you all the latency scores that you get down here. And we're seeing quite a big improvement. About five to 10 milliseconds faster. Jitter's about the same, but I don't think, especially in the city, the jitter's always gonna be like 30. Jit is always going to be all, all over the place here in like a very packed city, but um, yeah, 5 to 10 millisecond improvement on ping is pretty good. I would definitely take it. I mean, any improvement is definitely worth it when all of your gear and everything's on the line out in the black zone or whatever you happen to be doing out there in Albion. So it's pretty simple. It's all very simple. You just go into exit lag. Once you have the routes selected that you want, you just go ahead and click apply routes and you're good to go. Now you probably, like I'm already not that far away from where the servers are. Um, I've used exit lag in the past with other games that have servers in like California and stuff. Um, and from living in Germany, Germany to California is usually a really, really bad ping for me. But uh, with exit lag, we, you see a lot more improvements the further away you are from the actual endpoint. So for a lot of you out there, you know, you'll probably be getting at least, you know, 15, 20, maybe even up to 50 milliseconds faster, depending on where you are in the world. Because the further away, the better this, this works. Because the further you are, usually the more hops that you'll get to the the server and with exit lag you get to skip a bunch of those hops and that's basically how it works hey guys thank you so much for watching the whole video uh, if you guys have any issues with setting up exit lag or anything like that feel free to ask for help in the comments or i will also be posting the discord server for exit lag where you can find all of the employees and uh you know there's lots of other exit lag users that'll be there to be able to help you guys out if you need it. Anyway, thanks again for watching the whole video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, please, and hit the like button. And if you also enjoy my content in general, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter and all the other social media stuffs if you like. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. GG's. Peace.